Today I want to talk about my new Iwata uh, side feed airbrushes. If you watched um, a previous video of mine on my Veda uh, cheap airbrushes, this side feed airbrush was the inspiration for me to finally make a decision and to choose that I prefer side feed airbrushes. I like the fact that you get a clear view down the end of your airbrush to the nozzle and that for me helps me a lot and I preferred that so that's why I've now um, swapped my HPC Plus for an HP SB Plus which is the side feed and this has the same bells and whistles that the uh, HPC Plus had it has the limiter here at the back which means that I can adjust how much I pull the I pull the uh, lever back, or the trigger as you like to call it, and that limits the amount of paint that comes out. Uh, and apart from the limiter, you have the cutaway here. Now I actually put twist mine. They actually, uh, they actually normally are like this, but I prefer mine. Um, I just find it sits in my hand more comfortably with it this way. And this is where you can pull back and um, it, you can dump the paint. The difference with the uh, I what airbrushes, side feed airbrushes compared to the Vader, um, this only attaches on one side. Whereas this one, both of the uh, Iwata side feed airbrushes, you can take out this stop here. As you can see there's a hole on both sides which means I, could, I can put the stop in this side and this is the cup that comes with it and it just pushes in Again, if you remember with the Vader, if you didn't see it, the Vader actually screws on and there's quite a bit of a mechanism here. You've got to unscrew this, uh, loosen that, then you've got to unscrew the whole cup and it takes, you know, a little bit of time to do that and uh, the difference with the, um, but of course this one only cost about 30 euros, whereas this one cost about 180 euros, it's so completely different. Uh, but beautiful engineering this and it's much much lighter and again you can, like I said, you can put this in both sides so if you're working in a particular area where it's difficult and you want to uh, swap it over, you literally do that. Take this stop out, put it in and put the cup. Now this cup that comes with it is very small. It unscrews at the bottom uh, and there's a, a little hole here and that's where the paint gets sucked up to, to the here. So it's kind of siphon fed up to there. If you've got paint above it then it's actually gravity fed above it. I find these a little bit difficult to clean if you can imagine. The, you, you've got your little um, brushes that you put in and um, well they don't go in this tiny little hole very well but apparently um, what people tend to do is uh, just leave them in cleaning solution. Both have the same cup. This one is the um, HP SPS, the Eclipse, it comes in this box, this is the uh, HP SB Plus, it comes in that box. Anyway, this is the Eclipse, um, it's uh, uh, the same option of being able to take this out and so you can put the cup in both sides, it has the same kind of a cup, so I'm not bothering taking this one out, I'm using the same one to show you, that that just slots in there that's how easy it is. Uh, this one has the um, cutaway here, the dumping paint, but it doesn't have the limiter on the back. This has a 0.3 needle in it and the SB Plus has the 0.2 needle in it. The other difference um, between these two airbrushes is what's going on at the nozzle end. That This nozzle in the Eclipse is actually self-centering no screw, it just sits in there. I would pull the needle back before I put this back on, and it's held in place. It's held in place here with this. This, of course, is your cap, needle cap, to cover the needle, and that's your nozzle cap there. That can also come off. This one, on the other hand, this nozzle. Is attached at the end here and that screws in and um, when you want to clean it you use your little spanner put that in there 
and you take it off. It's a very delicate um, operation but um, I've got used to it now and um, I, I'm, I don't worry about it at all. Um, in the beginning it was a bit nerve-wracking. Pull the needle back before I put this back on to protect the tip. Okay, so there you go. Uh, both of them come with an instruction booklet uh, which is in Japanese and in English. They both have their own, their own one of these and they both come with their own um, spray pattern. This was for the uh, HP SB Plus and the uh, Eclipse has one also in the box which um, I won't bother showing you. But what I would like to show you is the different options with the side feed which is a set of seven. These are plastic cups again. They come with a special metal adapter which fits into the side of the airbrush like that and then all these cups just push into there. Again made of plastic. These are siphon fed because they get sucked up to the top here. Again you get a nice clear view over the top because it sits at the same level as the airbrush. So when you're looking down the nozzle and you're working it doesn't disturb you at all. Again you can turn these at any angle which is very useful if you're uh, working and doing some cuts and blends you want to keep it level. And uh, the other nice thing about this is that you can take these out without having to empty the paint out. You can keep the paint in there, put another one in with some cleaning fluid, flush your airbrush out as a colour change flush and then with these other ones you can have these pre-mixed with paint already in them and you just pop another in and then you're ready to go with your next colour. So th this is great, you get a set of these, seven, five of these big ones, two of these little ones. Just pop one of those in for you so you can see these are just for literally doing a few drops. If you want to do some fine detail work, just at the end, a couple of drops in. And uh, this whole set comes for about 25 euros, so somewhere over 20 pounds, UK pounds. And um, that's, they're excellent, I like those a lot. In fact, I like all of them. Again, I keep going on about it, but they're plastic and they're light, so they don't bother the um, balance. But the other alternative, and the beauty of the side feed, is you can get these big bottles as well. This is a 30ml bottle. You can get even a bigger one, which is a, a equivalent to 60ml, I think. And they again, you could buy a whole bunch of these bottles, have one with cleaning solution in, and the others with different colours, and you just pop them in spray away, change, cleaning solution through, take it out, next bottle, next colour and you're on, on your way again for larger areas. So this makes the side feed very very versatile. Now these little cups here which actually are for Aztec airbrushes and um, they fit perfectly into the side and these are gravity, these are then gravity feed whereas the other ones are this one is definitely suction feed, this one, suction feed because it comes into the top and gets sucked up. As I said this one's kind of like half half, above its uh, gravity and underneath its suction. This one is gravity feed, obviously the larger bottle is definitely um, sucking up so that's siphon fed. Um, and this one you can just put a few drops in, it comes, uh, they have different sizes, there's that small 3cc size, there's a bigger one there. And then um, they have even bigger ones than this, and this is a 10cc, which I like. Uh, again, it's a, a nice big size, you can get a decent amount of paint in there. And it's gravity fed, so you have the option. And they also, for the Aztecs, do these, uh, this is a siphon fed one, as you can see halfway down you've got the siphon. Again, if you've got it above, it's gravity fed, so if you put too much paint in it will actually start coming out. But below that it's siphon fed, and if the paint is below that you can pull that out. So again, Push that in, pull that out, it's that simple and they fit very nicely into the um, Iwata side feeds and this is for both, both airbrushes you can use all these cups. Now the difference between this um, one again uh, with this Aztec cup, it's plastic, obviously these are metal, um, they're very expensive these uh, which is why I'm showing these alternatives. These metal cups that come with the eye waters, uh, this is a very small one 
and and to get other ones that they're, they're very expensive um i can't remember off the top of my head but it's going to be around 30 euros i seem to remember and there's only one gravity feed option which was a very large cup anyway this one um uh, uh, the siphon feed one from aztec uh, it's very easy to clean because it just sits in this plastic thing you pull it out and you can clean it and then just for this little tube here you can put the little brush in so that and they um, each of these by the way have the have a little lid although this has a hole in it which um helps you know it's not going it's going to stop spilling out the side but obviously you can't go right over but it does mean you could add more paint in without having to take the lid off and um the smaller one doesn't the smaller one has a closed lid but they've got lids these uh, aztec cups come just under about um english pounds about 5 about 4 60 4 pounds 60 something like that I can't remember what it is in euros you can get seven of these five five of these and two of those little ones for less than it cost you to buy one of those anyway so that's why I thought I'd pass that information on to you the only thing with these ones is there's a little screw here and that's the only way you can get in to clean this tube here so again not as easy to clean but you have to take this little screw out then it's easy to clean, but getting the screw in and out is a bit fiddly because they're very tiny. I now have these two gorgeous airbrushes. This one is the um, Eclipse, which has the 0.3 needle in it, which is like the workhorse, um, using that for larger areas, but you can still get quite some nice detail, especially if you end up taking the uh, cap off, um, exposing the needle. Um, I haven't used it that much, but... Um, I'm looking forward to using it and apparently you can get very fine lines. This is the 0.2 which is a much uh, better uh, size for getting detail anyway. Uh, again take the cap off and get nice hairline um, and this one obviously has the few more bells and whistles in it. They both feel fantastic, they're very well beautifully made airbrushes and um, I'm extremely happy with them. Some people prefer the um, to use the gravity fed from the cup, cup at the top. I'll show you my uh, Veda, this one, which has the cup at the top, uh, and um, you know, find them more responsive or whatever, but I just found this cup gets in the way of my eye line at the end of the nozzle, I can't see it at all. And um, for me, that's the reason I just I chose side feeds. Thank you very much, and take care, have fun airbrushing, bye.